let's talk about biodiversity for a minute. First, what does biodiversity even mean? Well, according to Google, it is defined as the variety of life in the world or in a particular habitat or ecosystem. But why does it even matter? Biodiversity is important because without diversity in our wildlife, the circle of life will crumble. Think of biodiversity as a pyramid of cheerleaders. Many may think the ones at the top are most important, but the people below are just as important, if not more, because if they tumble, then everyone tumbles. And who takes the biggest fall? The people at the very top. Us humans are at the top of the food chain, as we are the most intelligent species, but you'd think the most intelligent species would be smart enough to realize that they are the ones causing this precious pyramid to crumble. There are many aspects that contribute to the loss of biodiversity. One of the major contributors is one that many people tend to overlook, the aquaculture industry. 71% of the Earth's surface is covered in water, and 74% of the Earth's species are found in that water. As you can tell, the health of our oceans and the biodiversity within these oceans is very important to the health of the planet and thus the health of the human race. Let's start at the base of the marine food chain, phytoplankton. Phytoplankton are microscopic marine plants and are responsible for the production of 80% of the world's oxygen. So that means that for every 10 breaths we take, eight of them have come from the ocean. Phytoplankton are so crucial for the conditions necessary for other life forms to thrive that if they ever went extinct, all other life forms would go with them. The flow of water is essential for the phytoplanktons to produce oxygen. Marine species such as whales and dolphins, who do much of their hunting in the deeper depths of the ocean, still have to surface, creating vertical flow. Vertical flow is important because it brings the nutrients back to the surface of the ocean. This cycle is important to all marine life because the phytoplankton use elements such as iron and nitrogen from the whale feces and provide food for the zooplankton which provide food for small fish and essentially cycle back to whales and dolphins, meaning the healthier the ocean, the more phytoplankton there are. Despite what the industries tell us, currently there is no real sustainable fishing method. The overfishing that is occurring is driving species into extreme depletion, and in some cases extinction. This is because the demand for fish is rising and they cannot repopulate and reproduce in time. For example, people eat four times as much fish today as they did in 1950. One so-called sustainable fishing method involves pulling one huge net behind a fishing vessel, catching anything in its path, meaning that there is no control over what is caught, and untargeted species become trapped as well. It is estimated that for every one pound of fish caught, five pounds of unintended marine species are caught and discarded as bykill. The demand for fish is increasing dramatically, and the supply is decreasing just as fast. For example, in 2011, global fish consumption hit a record high of 37 pounds per person per year. At this rate, there will soon be no marine species left. Scientists estimate fishless oceans by 2048. How do we keep this horror from becoming true? By changing the way we eat and what we buy as a society. Yes, fish have sources of omega-3 fatty acids and obviously protein, but there are so many other food sources to get these essential nutrients without disrupting and destroying the biodiversity in the oceans. We created this problem and it's up to us to solve it. Conserving the ocean's biodiversity is essential to our future as living things on this planet Earth. The best solution to solving this issue is a transition to reduce our need and consumption of marine life and other animal products through a plant-based diet. Many believe that we need animal products to survive and that we were built to consume them. But the fact is we have evolved. We can survive on, and in fact thrive on, a plant-based diet. Humans no longer possess the traits of a true carnivore. For example, we don't have the sharp canine teeth that carnivores like tigers have to pierce and kill their prey. As well as we no longer need our wisdom teeth to chew through tough foods like meat and bark. Interestingly enough, many people nowadays are born with fewer than four wisdom teeth. 
Another piece of evidence is the fact that we cannot process raw meat through our intestines properly. There has been many studies showing the lines between the consumption of meat, dairy, and eggs to diseases such as obesity, cancer, diabetes, and heart disease. Another cool fact is that humans don't have night vision, while predators like tigers, cougars, and even household cats do. And this is used so they can hunt down their prey. So, the solution to preserving our biodiversity is easy. Lower our demand for animal products, including fish, by eating a plant-based diet, and also by just being more aware of the consequences our actions have on the world around us.